Good morning, everyone. Um, today, I'm going to talk about the second book and how the writing this book is really affecting me. This book is for anyone who was like me and got trapped in the epidemic of West Virginia. This book is for you. It's for all of us. It is to spread the message and to shine light on what happened to me and to all of us. Um, we were targeted by Big Pharma and our lawmakers and law enforcement and everyone was paid to turn a blind eye to what was happening. It was, we were all targeted. That's a fact. That's what I'm shedding light on. We were targeted because we were a vulnerable area. Um, it was easy to take hold of that entire area like they did. And I think that, you know, the whole thing was engineered to get us hooked on pills, the drugs, opiates. And then within five to ten years, we'd have to get on their medically assisted treatments to get off of those drugs that they got us on and then for five or ten years we'd be on those and by the time we were in our mid thirties mid forties we would have uh, kidney disease liver disease diabetes heart disease high blood pressure seizures these are all the things that were going to be side effects of what they done to us and then we would be then on their life maintenance drugs for the rest of our lives. So it's engineered to have us on Big Pharma's drug plans for the rest of our lives. And that kind of coincides with everybody has to have insurance or it's against the law too. So, I mean, it's all, I don't know. I'm just a simple woman who started figuring things out. You know, um, once I got away from the bad influences, got my head straight and started talking to other people who came from my area, you know, Kentucky, Ohio, those areas were affected also. We were poor and we were targeted. You know, not every, I'm not saying every individual was poor. I'm saying the area was a rural, a very manipulatable to say there we were very it's very easy to manipulate the entire system there because it was easy to pay lawyers and lawmakers and judges it was easy to pay them off fifty thousand dollars a year to turn a blind eye or hundred thousand dollars a year to turn a blind eye or to to you know and pick certain laws to uphold and who to make an example of when it was time to make those examples all of these things see it was easy to do that because we were a very low income area so to say you could pay a judge 50 or a hundred thousand dollars a year to prosecute certain cases and let certain cases go or to or, or to pay a cop an extra twenty thousand dollars a year on his salary to let certain drug houses go or let certain people go because that person was working for the law and they were a CI so they needed to be left alone. See there's people out there right now they're still on payroll. These people still get paid to just be simple little informants. Yeah I know Joe Bob and Jim Bob and you know that's that's it. They, they're still, it's still happening on a small scale even, you know, that people still get paid to just give information. They don't have to go to court or anything. All them fuckers have to do is talk. And that's, I ain't getting paid to talk, but soon I probably will because I'm putting it all in a book. You know, and what I'm telling, law well, don't care about, that's obvious, they don't care. You know, um, I'm not trying to get nobody in trouble. What I'm trying to do is tell a story of what happened to me, my family, and the fact that it's all still going on. It's all still happening. It's just, there's in different forms and different ways, but it's, it's still happening. It's still there. You know, there's still a problem. The problem, and 
I don't know. I've been gone for three years, so I don't know how they're addressing the problem there. But I hope they are. I hope that I can be a positive force for the area at some point, maybe not now, may take 10 years before they'll actually look and say, damn man, you know, Angie made it out of that shit. She got out, she turned her life around and got better, you know. Um, that's what I want. I want people to look up to me one day and say, you know, no matter what, what in the world she went through before she got out, she got out and she got better and then she done better. And now she is better. And that's, that's the message for today, is I'm writing in the book. And I want everybody to understand that uh, I sit down and I do these videos raw. Just the best way to do it is just let the camera roll and tell y'all how I feel, what's going on. And don't be afraid of this camera. And just put out the message just like it is. You guys have a wonderful day and thank you for watching.